Ongoing worries over the rising number of new coronavirus cases and the slow rollout of the vaccination program have increased demand for safe haven assets. The U.S. dollar index, which measures its value against a basket of six major currencies, closed last week near the mark of 90.54, having gained 0.33 percent. Nevertheless, the long-term outlook remains bearish for the U.S. dollar due to the public debt that will swell to record highs after the adoption of a stimulus package proposed by Joe Biden. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen supported the spending plan, saying that the benefits outweigh the risk of a high debt burden. In the meantime, the U.S. Federal Reserve kept its monetary policy unchanged during its meeting on Wednesday and did not make any adjustments to its bond-buying program. The single European currency finished the week with minor losses. However, it showed a deeper decline in the course of the weekly session. The euro came under pressure when the ECB said it was ready to influence the strong euro. The rise of the currency rate will be crucial for the regulator if it threatens the inflation prospects. The European Central Bank also indicated it could cut its interest rates to the level below zero if it was necessary to maintain the inflation target. Meanwhile, Germany downgraded its economic outlook for 2021 from 4.4 to 3 percent. Germany's Minister of Economic Affairs said the country should keep the lockdown in the coming weeks to contain the virus spread. The pound-dollar pair stayed almost unchanged over the week, although at some point it reached the highest level since May 2018. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that the national lockdown will be extended until March the 8th. Traders are looking ahead to the monetary policy meeting of the Bank of England scheduled on February 4th. Bitcoin also seems to be losing its bullish momentum. On Friday, the price of Bitcoin surged by 20% right after Elon Musk, the owner of SpaceX and Tesla, had added the Bitcoin hashtag in his Twitter account. But later the quotes returned to the previous range and the price is likely to consolidate between $30,000 and $35,000 per token. Brent oil futures closed the week just below $56 per barrel. This is much lower than the 11-month high that was reached earlier in January. The drop happened amid the ongoing concern over the sluggish fuel demand amid coronavirus restrictions. Iraq volunteered to cut its oil output, while the U.S. oil industry faced tougher regulation from Joe Biden's administration. At the same time, a deeper-than-expected fall in the U.S. crude inventories has limited losses on oil, keeping the price near the level of $56 a barrel. Gold fell by 2.6% at the end of the month, which became the worst in January since 2011. The bearish trend in gold was caused by a steady rise in the U.S. dollar and Treasury yields. However, gold prices edged higher by 0.4% on Friday and reached the level of $1,845 per troy ounce. This short rally happened after the hype over GameStop triggered a massive sell-off in the stock market. We will discuss this in more detail in our tomorrow's review of the U.S. stock market. You've watched the combined review of currency and commodity markets on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep track of all the latest events on financial markets. And we'll see you back soon.